Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. This, um, this might actually be the last episode, I'm not sure yet. It really depends on how quickly we can do things. So, first things first, map, uh, Kevis Castle, um, uh, is it the first floor or is it the second floor? I think it's the first floor here. I think it's literally right here. Okay. So yeah. We're getting close to like finishing up here. Excuse me. I know who you are. Your Majesty! <sighs> Did it fail? I understand how you feel, but you must think of your own well-being. Please, have patience. I beg you. Surely I've been patient enough. Stuck there in origin enough to send one insane. Um, can we help you? Her Majesty is insistent that she explore the outside world undercover. I wanted to see for myself what the beings of this world thought, what they needed. Until now, all I could do was perceive data, but no longer. I know, yes, but if you simply gave us the order, we could perform all the legwork for you. There are things you can't understand unless you experience them for yourself. Then at least allow us to accompany you. If I go with you, won't that draw attention? How about if we went with you? We're quite well traveled around Ionios now. There are plenty of places we could show you around, I'm sure. And of course, we share a common goal. There are people out there living in the harshest conditions, yet still they struggle on. We want to help them all too, just like you. You want to help? More people makes for more Marys! Would be Mega Marys, more Melia! Melana, you must refer to her highness in the proper manner. Melana speak it proper? Oh, that's right. Many sorries, Melly. Melly? Please, your highness, forgive our insolence. Oh, I did a boo-boo. I didn't. <laughs> It's been a long time since anyone called me that. Then I have a proposal. They will be my only guards. Your Majesty, why must you do this? What necessitates it? We have only just returned. You are the hope of all Kevers. Should the unthinkable happen, then... You're such a fusspot, Eisel. I want you to understand. The future is not shouldered by me alone. It is something that is created by each and every person in the world. I never wanted to sit there in my ivory tower and gaze down from on high. That's not the kind of ruler I am. I apologize. I spoke out of turn. I'm not criticizing you. You are what I wanted. You are my hope. I have a request, or rather, something to discuss. Could I ask you to take a fellow traveler under your wing? Her name is Melia. If that's truly what you wish for... I don't see why not. Glad to have you with us, Melia. Talking to the Queen on equal footing. That's crazy, mate. Yeah, I'm gonna feel so awkward. No need for stress. Just act natural. Your oh, stomach of Manana getting rumbly. Maybe some stress for Manana. <laughs> What's wrong? Our wings. You're high. Sorry. I still can't believe you have them too, Melia. Makes me feel special. Like we're the same. Right. We are the same. Your Majesty. I urge you, please take care. I'll be relying on you in my absence, Eisel. 
I'm sorry to saddle you all with me, everyone. But I'm looking forward to it too. And that's the other post-game hero. My gosh. All of those collecting heroes and all those side quests was for this. Also, when I first saw her, like, and, and, um, it giving the classes and all, I was kind of like, okay, because I was kind of, like, expecting them to give it to Uni, since Uni is kind of like a high entia and everything, wings and everything. Uh, anyway, characters, class, and we're changing classes to this, because I actually quite like this class. Um... Check off everything for everyone. And here's the good thing. Um, we actually don't need to do this ourselves. We can just do that. <laughs> so we're actually gonna do the ascension quest for all of these. Or for rather for these two, at least. For right now. I think this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do the ascension quest for Melia and Nia, and then we're gonna end it off. Because we've been do we've been at this for like 55 episodes, and to be honest, I don't even know how most of these characters have their ascension quests. And leveling and ranking them up is not going to be fun to do. So, yes, yes, I know. Uh, what else? Right, need, yeah, she's got the life safe clothing now. Uh, um. Alright, first things first, uh, swap I'll over to Nia real quickly, and, and we have to go to multiple different places. Uh, one of them is in the Fornus region. Um, oh gosh, where is it? It's a bloody tree. I know that for a fact. I think it's like around this area here. Hold on, let me check. Pulling out the notes again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's see here. It's a Sephornia tree in the Fornus region. Which is near... Water. Of some sort. And a zipline. Where is this? Uh... That's not what it looks like. It's near water. It would be up here. Here it is. Huh. <sighs> yeah, it's a it's a giant Sephronia tree. Which I'm trying to remember what it's meant to show. Basically, with Nia to unlock her and say, well, it's not really to unlock I guess it's part of her ascension quest. We need to go to four different places. Ah, the scent of Sophronia. This takes me back. Takes you back? You mean you know what this is? Yes, of course. The Fronia trees used to grow in the world that I came from, you see. Huh? For real? So that's where Sephronia trees come from. Who'd have guessed? That's not all. What you call the Orion Mountains came from my world, too. Why? Seriously? I always thought they were funny shaped mountains. I mean, now they're mountains. Back then, they weren't so picturesque. Are there more places like this? Stuff that we don't know the true origin of? Actually, yes. In fact, I dare say, pretty much everywhere you've seen till now. Makes sense. If you hadn't been here, we'd have just walked right past like it was no big thing. 
I suppose it's good for you all to know about how things were in the old world. Well, now you've got all this new perspective, why not have a look back at the path you already traced? Looking back at where we came from, that could be a really valuable experience. Yes. Please, give it some thought. The path that you're on now will lead you to the future that you've dreamed of. Dude, that little music that played there, that was fantastic. I loved that. Okay, next place! Uh, da -da -da -da. Ascension Grounds is another one here. Uh, Ascension Grounds in the city is another one. And then... Oh god, I don't remember the name of the last region. I've been here for a while. I can't wait to see the look on Gondor's face when she sees you. Oh, what do you plonkers want now? Hey, come on. Don't be like that. We're just here to say hi. Huh? What's that? You got time on your hands, have you? Huh? Why? If it isn't... I believe this is the first time we speak directly, isn't it, Gondor? Can someone tell me what the hell's going on? What's the Queen of Agnes doing here? Oh, uh, hang on. I suppose we are in Agnes Castle right now. So, maybe it's not so weird to see you here. But what I don't get is, why is the Queen of Agnes seem to know about me? That's... Well, it's a long story. The Vandham name and those that bear it have a deep meaning for me. You mean my family? In the past, I, we, were saved by a man called Vanda. He taught us a lot about life and what it was we were called to do. It's no exaggeration to say that without him, there would be no me. Huh? A real deep connection between Nia and Gondor's fan? Spooky. The memories of it are all but lost now. These were events of the distant past. Oh, oh. Uh, more to the point. Seems you dads have gotten pretty used to chumming up with royalty. Like it's no big thing. Well, Nia asked us to treat her that way. Like another one of the gang. Come on, Gondor. Surely you more than anyone wouldn't expect us to mince our words around Nia. Wind your neck in, will ya? Nothing wrong with how I talk. <laughs> Oh, you're so bold and unabashed. I simply adore it. Oh, oh. I uh, suppose I am. I mean, you've passed through the conflict with a false queen, maintained order in the castle. There are a lot of things that came about because of your blood, sweat, and tears, Gondor. Huh? Well, that's a real heck of a compliment. Too much for the life of me, maybe, a match. All I reckon we really did was set a few boundaries to stop things going dark. I don't have a clue about your acne and folks, though. You're just being humble, Gondor. Please, there's no need for it. It's not easy to earn people's trust, to maintain the balance. And you do all that while still remaining natural, unadulterated Gondor. I'm basically an adult. I'm almost... Ah, oh, forget it. Fandor, you really soften up when you get a few kind words, don't you? Huh? Who are you calling soft? I hope Agnes can count on your continued support. I mean, what I'd really like to be saying right now is bite me. But... Since I've got a real deal queen going to all the trouble of asking me, I guess I've got to at least consider the request a bit. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, Gondor. As the nominal lady of Agnes Castle, I bestow upon you my sincere admiration for fulfilling the... Hey! Whoa! Enough already! It's like you want to make me squirm. Ah, there's our Gondor. 
Just shut up, will you? We're done talking about me, all right? You Ouroboros assholes, mind your own beeswax, all right? I better not hear you've been holding the queen back. You're a real goofy bunch, aren't you? Just being around your pants is a hazard. Pot calling the kettle black much there, Gondola. All right, on to the next one. Um, hold on. Okay, city. Well, where is it in the city? Where is that here again? Uh, nope, that's Horde. <laughs> okay, so I guess this would be the closest. Oh my god. So we're doing this for Nia. And then we have to do a few more for Melia, or a few things for Melia. I think Melia is more of like an actual like little side quest. I don't remember Melia's very well. I remember Nia's because of how much time I actually spent doing it. Because I, okay, there's this one area in this side in, in this uh, Ascension quest. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to get through because the enemies are like level 85 there. So. Your Majesty, there you are. Please, it's Nia. You aren't used to it yet, do you? Uh, I'm sorry, you Please forgive me, it's just... <laughs> it's fine. I may have taken my teasing a step too far, eh? I hope what I'm about to say doesn't come out the wrong way, but... Yes? It's just... You're our queen! We believed you were the one that gave us all life, and that we'd return to you in the end. You were like this awesome being high above. None of us could even dream of talking to you. And now you're just traveling along with us and chatting like it's an everyday thing. It's just really bizarre to me somehow. Like things have been switched around. Could it be that it just hasn't sunk in yet? I see. <laughs> well, it's the same for me. W what? I'm sure I've told you this before, but please indulge me. While I was asleep in the Cloud Keep, I was getting information about what was happening in the world. So I knew long before that you were not M, but an independent being called Mio. But it was nothing more than information. I wanted to truly know you more than anyone else but I couldn't touch you couldn't make contact I felt so close to you but you were still this distant far off thing it was so frustrating but right now you're so close I can reach out and touch you speak with you even I never thought the day would come. It's a truly strange feeling. It's the same for me. Indeed. It's amazing, really, the way things worked out, don't you think? For sure. If I hadn't become Ouroboros, I'd never have had the chance to meet you, Nia. Sometimes, a small pebble starts the avalanche which changes your whole future. Don't you think? No, I don't think you can put it all down to chance. Huh? What do you mean? I think we met because we were supposed to, Mio. It was meant to be. Because, to me, you're... Hey! Mio! Nia! We're in house soon, guys. Get a move on or you'll get left behind. Okay, we're coming. Shall we go join the others? 
Sure. Let's do that. Mio? Yes? I'm really glad we got to talk like this. Yeah, me too. Nia. Alrighty then. One more to go. Uh, where is it? Where is that last one? Alright. Um, da -da -da. Smart furnace. Uh, um. Hmm. Nope. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Here it is. Now I actually realize they do give you like the little question mark, but if you haven't been doing every single question mark, you're gonna be confused until like which one exactly it is. Huh. That's why I have it written down. Those empty ruins. Right up here. Nia? Everything all right? This place you call Mac the Wildwood. Do you know anything about all the ruins and things scattered around here? No, to tell the truth. I never paid them any mind, I guess. But now you mention them, they do seem pretty weird. Oh. Hey, is this also related to stuff from your old world, Nia? That's a good guess, Anna. Not quite right, but you aren't far off. Please, explain. All right, I will. This is probably something you ought to know about. I told you before about Ionios's creation, right? Well, what I'm about to talk about goes back much further into the past than that. You mean, when the worlds were won, the people of that time had access to absolute power, using it to create and enjoy a flourishing civilization. But in the end, they started to fight each other for control over that very power. And because of that, the power became a calamity and ripped the world in two. What we're looking at now is the remnants of the destruction that humanity has wrought. So the true meaning of all this ruin is to stand as a monument to the history that created this world. If you really think about it, we human beings are the cause of all of it. I don't get it. Why fight till everything burns? The answer is... because they were afraid. Afraid of what? Afraid of ending. All life. All civilizations and cultures. Everything comes to an end in time. Of course, humans are part of the world too. We can't escape that rule either. But people never stop looking for a way. Even if it means going beyond the rules. Eternity. That's what they were searching for. Eternity. If the present moment carries on forever, then the end will never come. That's eternity. With that, the miserable decay that you're looking at now would never come to pass. Huh. I think
think you probably all know the rest of the story already. Why this world that we're in now is called Ionios, the realm of eternity. Zed also wants eternity, just as the people did back then. But, I mean, even though they were longing for eternity, to sacrifice so many lives to achieve it, it's not... It can't be right. I agree. We might get hurt, and someday we'll be gone. But we have to keep moving forward in spite of all that. That's what it means to live, right, Nia? Yes. Exactly right. That must be clear to you all now. You should hold on to that vision of life. Cherish it as you go forward. Keep that in your heart so that you never repeat the mistakes of the past. Okay, let's see if we can actually just discuss that right here. I'm not sure if we will be able to, but we'll, we'll try. What do with some food? Uh, discuss. Yep. I think we need to discuss this. Okay, so what we got next? Good question. Nia, anywhere you still want to go? Well, if you're asking me to choose, then I might, then I may have to ask your advice first. Sure, I hope we can give you a decent answer. In all the places you guys have been so far, was there ever a place where you could look at the, s look at the sky up close, almost touch it? But what do you mean, close to the sky? I, I guess she means like, have we ever been to the highest place in the world, right? The highest place, um, have we, maybe, maybe not. Is that where you'd like to go now, Nia? Yes, I mean, I don't have any really major reason for it, but... Just, when you asked where I wanted to go, that was the first thing that popped into my head. What? Well, the sky, you mean? Maybe when I look up at the sky, I just... long to go back there. A sort of nostalgia. Well, if that's what you want, then why don't we try and find a high place for you? Oh, really? You're good with that? I'm cool with it. Anyway, it was me who brought up this whole where do you want to go for chat in the first place. If there's a way up there, skyscraping place like that, I'd love to check it out myself. You guys. Thank you so much. I guess I'm counting on you all all over again. Let's find it together then. The place where we'll be close enough to touch the sky. Here's a little, uh, funny little trivia tip for you, um, m make sure your, your character's like, like, um, rank 10 with the class, because I tried to do this without being rank 10 and I just messed up badly. Oh. And yes, this area is not very fun to be in, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, there are like level 80 and 85 enemies here, so yeah, be careful. Um, I don't even remember. Was it up that I had to go? Or is it down? I think it's down. Uh, ew, that's a drop and a half. Uh, yeah, 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 Oh, God, please live, please live, please live. Nope. Like this. Well, that's what happens when you try to take shortcuts in life. Uh, freaking Steam continues to open on my freaking computer every single time I'm recording. Oh, come on, really? Really? <laughs> Is there a point in that, my friend? Really? Is that necessary? Ah. Uh,
I think this is actually worse. Maybe not. Maybe this is the way I'm meant to go. But honestly, nope, we're exactly where we started. Fantastic. Alright, so I guess we'll just walk around. Uh, we might have to pull off some, like, crazy jumping stuff. Uh, now. <laughs> like, want to get to this area. Because, as I've said, there are higher level enemies there. Come on. Uh, yeah, down there is where we need to be. 100%. I think we can just drop. Yeah, that's not too big of a fall. This one's a bit bigger. Let's use this! Right. I think we still have to go down even more here. Yep. That's one way to do it without taking any damage. <laughs> Alright, so we need to go up over here, and I got stuck on an enemy. And up there. I believe is where we need to go. To reach the cavity. As the place is called. Oh, is it called the cavity? Because are we in like the area where they blew up that hole? Is this where the city used to be? Oh, yeah, this area is. Yeah, I think this is probably where the city used to be. <laughs> oh, that's fun. What kind okay. of place is this? Oh, yeah, buddy. Everything is much higher level than us here. That's super fun. Okay. Trying to remember, like, the area where I dropped down from and lived. I want to say it was here. And it probably was. Oh, whoops. Oh, no. Everyone. Yeah, that didn't I'm work. sorry. <laughs> oh, God. I hate this place. Why is everything, like, level 80, dude? Why? Whoa, the red dude, dude and then you have, like, level 90s? Like, come on, really? Is this necessary? I think we'll win. Nope! I'm sorry. Son of a gun! Oh, I hate this area. I really do. It's just I'm not high enough, high enough devil to actually do this, but I do not want to grind out, like, 10 levels. No, it's actually probably be, like, 15 levels. I took damage from that, really? Oops. Oh, that's Stop it. Oh, gosh. I think we can actually drop down from here and be fine. Hopefully. Yep! <laughs> Somebody went down! Right. Oh, hi there! Alright. Um... Oh come on, really? Hey look, an ether can. You can never go wrong with some ether. This area up here is the part that I think I hated the most when I did this the first time. 
Because there is a unique enemy, I believe it's a unique, that flies down from up there. And he's like level 95, I think it was. He's a high level. He just kind of like appears out of nowhere, so you're not expecting it. Yep, there he is. And you kind of just want to try and get away as quickly as freaking possible, because if not, you're dead. Stop targeting me. Stop targeting me. Please stop. Please stop. Please let me- leave me alone. Thank you very much, good sir. What was that?! Wait, excuse me?! A blue sky. Though the world changes, no matter what form it may take, the sky up there, it stays the same. Thank you. I'm grateful to all of you. It's kind of you to indulge me like this. No, it's fine. Don't forget, asking you along was our idea. I'm pleased you all became Ouroboros. I'm glad that you did. N Neo, what's gotten into you? Why are you saying this now? When this battle is over, the stationary worlds will move once again. When the worlds were divided, they knew nothing of each other. In the end, they'll be strangers once again. Perfectly ignorant. As will we. Even so, I wanted to make a memory. The day when we part for good, it's coming. But still, I wanted us to share this moment. I wanted to feel that special connection, those ties that bind us together. Not just as your queen, but also as your friend. Nia. So just, thank you. In the end, it's up to you. My hope is invested in your future. You must defeat Zad and make a better world with your own hands. Hey, that's not quite right. Huh? That better world. You'll be building it together with us, Mia. Y you mean... I mean, even if we do get separated, someday we'll see each other again. We want you with us, Nia. In that future. How can we not? We need you. Brother, please stay. Because the connection we share. Nia, that's something that can never be broken. Mio. I mean, if that's the future that you want... N no, let me try that again. That future, I'll share it with you. It's not just yours, it's our future we'll invest in. For that, we need this world to end. Until that time. Yeah, we'll be by your side until then, Nia. Alright, so that's Nia's ascension quest done. Yep, and now we gotta go do Melia's. And Melia's is... Wait, what? The flight well traveled by now, huh? Wait, hold on. Well. What?
Oh, alright, I need to have. <laughs> That's the problem. Okay. My mind is made up. I just need to have Melia in the party. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm dumb. Alright. Oh, okay then. You're having a laugh. You think this is going to make it all better, do you? Well, I will bear full responsibility. Otherwise, well, there is no otherwise. What are you two bickering about? Your Majesty, what a welcome sight to see you return. Has a problem arisen in my absence? Ah, no, just a trifling matter, really. Actually, we do have a bit of a problem on our hands, Your Majesty. Hey, mind you. We have to report the facts as they are. How much longer are you going to leave this hanging, eh? What's the problem? A couple of days ago, we had a small run-in with our Agnian opposites. Isol took care of them, but things got out of hand a little bit. Out of hand? Nothing! I insulted Her Majesty's arm! I'm spitting feathers! But with no reason to fight! You were the one who earned their ire! Did they come to any harm? You hurt them? I only intended to scare them, but then they resisted. So you sought to defeat them? No! Nothing of the sort! They had no flame- The presence of a flame clock is not what instigates a battle. The glimmerings of war are always there, within us. I imagine discovering that fact must have come as quite a shock to you. <sighs> Circumstances aside, if you've incited their wrath, then I assume we haven't had the end of this. As you say, they have since begun to rally together in opposition. I am ashamed. Truly ashamed. Now that this has come to a head, I cannot but take full responsibility. I will hold the objective even if it should cost me my life. You shall not. Do not speak of throwing your life away so lightly. So many of my friends. I could not bear to lose another. Your Majesty. I told you, did I not? You are my hope. I will speak to the Agony and Chief Retainer personally about the matter. In the meantime, cool your head. Any more unfinished business that I should know about? A couple of house calls to make, Your Majesty. They want you at Colony 9 and the city. Colony 9? So Zeon then? Indeed. They've asked for some urgent backup following the recent origin attack. And the other request is from Monica. Wants you to give her people a pep talk. The descendants of Uroboros. I've caused such grief for them. And for an unfathomably long time. But now they get to speak to their real queen. I'm sure they'll be overjoyed. Yes. Perhaps. Speaking face to face with another. There's nothing quite like it. Um, Melia? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I'm going to be taking up some more of your time. <laughs> now you can cut that out. Agnes or Kevus, soldier or queen. What difference does it make? The future is to be created by each and every person in the world. I think you were the one who taught us that. True enough. Your unyielding spirit gives me the strength to go on. Sometimes when Melia smiles, I see sadness in her eyes, as if she's all alone in the world. Well, better start making the rounds. We've got to stop by Colony 9, the city, and... Agnes Castle, right? Safe journey to you all. And there it is. And it's the literally three at like different side quests that we've got to deal with. I think we're just gonna deal with this one first because I think it's the only one that actually you have to fight somebody with, and the rest are just mostly talking. But before we do any of that, uh, I'm trying to remember. Is it? Where is it? Uh. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta look at my map real quick. This point of interest that is 
somewhere. Uh, guess it would be over here then, no? He's over here. Nope, this is the wrong one. It's the other one on the opposite side. Haha! -ha! They got me again. Is it over here? I honestly don't even remember where it is. I don't think this is it, though. No, it is not. Oh, gosh, where is it? I'm brain farting hard right now. Hold on. Yeah, no, it's back here. It's back here. It's where I originally thought it was. I'm not an idiot. Can I jump on these? Wait, hold on. I wanna... Okay. I wanted to see if I could actually jump on that or if I was just gonna phase right through it. Because some games would be like that. Okay, no. But this is like a little secret area back here that I want to show off. Although I'm pretty sure everybody knows about this at this point, but still. I find it funny. So I'm gonna show it off. Now, we wake. Oh. <laughs> we left some people down there, but they teleported back up. The powers of teleportation in this game are nuts. Jesus. Oh wait, more people. <laughs> this is a really small element here compared to the other one. <coughs> Really high up, jeez. Not just that, it's also finest. Finest. <laughs> so yeah. They're highly confidential. We know what's back here. We've already seen it. It's the Monado. It is a hundred percent the Monado. We're not. I guess not the Monado, Monado, but like the rep. Eh. I, what, what is it called? It's like the... I kind of want to call it the replica Monado that Chulk uses during Future Connected, because that's basically kind of what it is. So it's not like the actual Monado, but it functions fairly similarly. I don't think it has Monado art stuff. I haven't played Future Connected in a really long freaking time, so... Hey! We can find a peaceful resolution. Hey! <laughs> Nia, this is a surprise. Don't worry, I know the whole story. Oh, bloody hell. <clears throat> I see you are in good company. They're kindly serving as my bodyguard. They're assisting me with a number of other matters, too. The assistance goes both ways, actually. We all one big, happy family. Yes, that's right. Family. Indubitably. I have a rough grasp of our present predicament. You've come to hear this side of the story, have you not? You make it sound as if these are no ordinary Agnians. With Queen Malia's assistance, we have been closely monitoring them on both sides. I'll get to the point. These people belong neither to Keves nor Agnes. To be precise, they were formerly Agnian soldiers. But now they claim to have lost their faith, even in Agnes. This intense distrust of the future has driven them to wanton destruction. So they stopped believing in anything, and now they just want to ruin things for everyone. That's awful. The Kevis and Agnes of today are founded upon mutual trust and respect. At least that is the mood we try to foster. But the reality is that not all of us can readily accept these changes. The recent outburst was just an act of passion. But if like-minded people were to congregate... They may gain enough momentum to pose a legitimate threat, is that it? So they're the ones who have incited the latest uproar, I take it. We might have to prepare for the worst-case scenario. Minanabite! What makes worst case so bad? He means there could be an attack on the Queen's life. That's one of the reasons, but we simply can't afford to leave this be. I don't believe they truly want to oppose us. Rather, they feel they are at an impasse. One cannot so easily change their way of life or how they view the world. 
Perhaps I ought to assert my authority as queen after all, and... No. If you lock horns with them now, it's very possible they will shut you out completely. I would rather have you prepare to welcome the men with open arms. That's incredibly kind of you. So, where do we find these troublemakers? It seems they're lying low at Hovering Reef 6. Seriously? That's right next to the castle. Presumably they approached under the guise of their fellow Agnian soldiers. The castle isn't on particularly high alert, so it makes sense that they wouldn't arouse too much suspicion. Yes, as sad as it is. I hear they're pooling their forces. You'd best be on your guard. Fear not. I am no stranger to battle. And besides, look at my entourage. You shouldn't have to get used to this. Experience can make a person stronger, it's true. But it can't take away one's pain. That goes for queens, too, you know. The moods turn dark all of a sudden. I'm aware of that. Thank you, Nia. Take care, you guys. I see some relations have changed. I, I love the fact that, that Nia uh, acts like a regular person. Like, like how, or, or, or I should say, how she usually acts. Oh my god, is that really the closest one? Uh, she usually acts around Melia, but then puts on, like, the queenly facade around the rest of Ouroboros. It's like, who cares, woman? <laughs> you haven't been able to tell, we've kind of found out about it at this point. I find it funny and adorable. At the same exact time. Wait, no, wrong way. Um, yeah. I, I, I still kind of, like, want to kind of know kind of how this exactly Nia became a, a queen. Um, In truth, I would really I like to know about how that one happened. Um. And, but I still, I still want the DLC story to be an epilogue where the worlds collide again. Like, that's what I really want. And we get, or not really collide again, but we get to see Mio and Noah reunite, I guess, after the ending. I kind of want to, I want to see that happen more than anything. <sighs> I, don't, I don't think a, a prequel, prequel would go very well with this. I mean, yeah, sure, the founders and everything, but... I don't think the Founders had such a, a big impact on the story, kind of like how Adam did, for example. Something so bad. Not to mention, you know, Chronicles 1 had what was basically a happy ending. Chronicles 2 had, like, a sad and then happy ending. Mate, what are you doing? Oh, also... I shouldn't have climbed up here so that you would have been able to hear the, the music that plays when when you're in battle with Melia. It's called Brilliant Wings, that one. I guess we can listen to it right now. I believe that that song is actually a remix of the battle theme from Peach Connected. I wouldn't remember because it's been a while since I've touched Xenoblade Chronicles 1 in any capacity. Uh, but yeah, anyway, this class, as you can see, is basically just like the summoner class that Melia had in her original game. Um, arts are all pretty much like... This one has topple, but I, you kind of want to have the idea of ha having a... A, an ability that hits an enemy from behind with an attacker class just because of the fact that it gets you your uh, talent art quicker. So yeah, that's... Just that hits from any sort of side. Side, left, right, back, front, whatever. You always want to have one of those on, on an attacker hero. Just like you always want to have some sort of AoE on a, on a healer and like an aggro or dodge move on a tank.
Magni and Otto left, they've hauled those things out here. Can't catch a break, can we? As Lady Nia informed us, we should expect them to be hiding in an ambush somewhere on this island. I must remind you that we are only here to negotiate. If possible, I would like to avoid combat. Sure, but what if they're the ones to come at us first? Then suppress them at once. We could even disable their levnesses, so that they have nothing with which to fight back. Hey, I've been meaning to ask for a while now. You really know how to handle yourself in a scrap, don't you? Yes. I'm no stranger to the field of battle. Nor is this the first attempt on my life. What? Even though you're the queen? Precisely because I am the queen. Is it really so strange for nobles to be acquainted with violence? There was even an assassin within my family once. <gasps> I'm sorry. I hope we didn't bring back painful memories for you. Please. It's perfectly fine. Many are the things that have shaped me into who I am today. Learning to accept my weaknesses. Understanding each other's differences. Opening one's heart to others. You must have been in some real good company to learn all that. <laughs> Perhaps, yes. Back when I was young and naive, my companions taught me some invaluable lessons. And you took those lessons to heart. That's how you came to be such a magnificent queen. Though times may change, their teachings will never fade. Which is why I still believe. I believe that our last breaths should not be those of despair. All right, I'm back. I smelled some. I smelled something really good, and I want to go check out check out what it was. Uh, also, these are higher level than us. Fantastic. I believe also the enemies that we have to fight down there are also higher level than us. But whatever, we can take them at this point. I think. I used the wrong move. No, actually, I didn't. We're good. I don't know what that smell is, but it is really freaking good. It smells like a like um, dude. What is that? It's like that was back. Look over there. Mm. The only th I don't know why, but the only thing that's coming to mind when I'm smelling it is 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 Pizza Hut. What's this? There's pocket in there. Ah, right. That sucks because I decided to not treat myself to a pizza this Anybody week. Else feeling curious? <laughs> so that's just fun. And I really like this class, even though it's like hard to take a while to, re to uh, recharge. It's still a really fun class. Although it is most definitely nowhere near as powerful as Melee actually is in, in Chronicles 1. <laughs> because, my god, is that woman powerful in Chronicles 1. That's not even a joke. She's just like... Well, I mean, once you get to a certain point. Because she's not very powerful at, like, level 40, 50. She gets powerful when she hits, like, level 65. Because that's when she gets, like, all the really good arts. Hello? Nobody at home? Don't move! Melia! I'll handle this. My name is Melia Antiqua. I wish only to speak with you. Speak with us? Rip us to shreds, more like, Queen of Keveth. You are the ringleader, are you? And why should I tell you? The world I once knew is gone. They told us defeating Kebez was the only way for us to be saved. It was the right thing to do. The just thing to do, and I believed it. Do you realize how many of my friends died in pursuit of that dream? You think I can just tell them, yeah, 
Sorry, guys. You died for nothing? He's lost his core. Maybe we should step in and deal with him. But Melia told us she'd handle this. You ruined it! You joined forces with the Agnian Queen, and you drilled these notions into our heads! You take away our friends, then sully our reasons to live. My friends died that day, but you've killed them all over again! And that's why you've decided to destroy everything! That's right. We don't need a shitty world like this anyway. Is that all? I told you to stay where you are! Melia! Hey! What are you trying to pull? I could ask you the same thing. Why do you hesitate? You could attack me right now. Shut up! You have no desire to destroy anything. You are simply trying to get by in a world where nothing makes sense anymore. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Yeah, see, these guys are all level 80 as well. <laughs> but still, I mean, at this point, it's just kind of like... What? You're level 80? Good for you. If it's not a unique, you're not beating us. Very simple. Simple as that. And there's only one that's level 80. It's this guy. Ow. Can, uh, can somebody get the aggro off of me, please? Oh, I need to get behind somebody here. And then just destroy everything. Can't see much. Fire and ash! So that's how it is. That's how you look down at us. Sorry? I know all about you. You queens live longer than any of us could ever dream. You aren't like us, are you? That's how you can just sit on your thrones, toying with our lives like... She is like us. If you hurt her, she feels pain. She bleeds all the same. Mia. That's why she came all this way, to hear your story. She wants to know more about you. She wants to share her time with you. <laughs> yeah, right. Our lives are like the blink of an eye to her ilk. Just because she lives longer, it doesn't mean she's any different from you. We're all here, aren't we? We're all alive. That's enough, Mio. I see now how you feel about all this. Mate, have you been making that speech to the Kavesi officers too? Telling everyone that Melly is different to everyone else? You bet I did. She's so far up herself it makes me sick. If anyone's warped, distorted here, it's you. Then what am I supposed to do? Who else am I supposed to take my rage out on? Tell me the truth. Right now, the pure, unadulterated truth! That, I cannot tell you. The answer lies in you, and you alone. You must have realized by now. There is no weight to the truth of another, if you cannot judge it for yourself. <sighs> if you must have an object of hatred in order to live your life, then let it be me. But promise me that someday you'll live for the things that truly have worth, just as you and your comrades in arms once did. It's already too late. I can't go back. Not after what I've done. I highly doubt that. You are still breathing, are you not?
Are you all right? I told you. I am no stranger to battle. Besides, I could not tolerate simply watching from the sidelines. Melia. Their sadness, frustration, anger. I shall never forget these feelings. Come. Let us proceed to the next location. Alright, so that's one down. You know what? Um, I'm saying this right now. Even if we make it to freaking two hours today, we're finishing up all these quests. Because I feel that... Yeah, this is basically gonna kinda be like the last one. Let's make it long, huh? Let's make it long! Uh, let's go do Colony 9. Oh, I guess I could just, yeah, just do this. Hup. Let's go! Ugh! Ugh. Oh my god. Alright, uh, behind the over. I guess we can kind of just drop down here, no? Yep, that was quicker than anything. Hello! That'll leave a bruise. Be more gentle, Commander! Don't expect miracles. I'm trying my best to heal you here. Here, let me. Thank you, miss. That would be great. What? You're... That should suffice. Can you walk? Yeah. I think so. Queen Melia. Uh, to what do we owe the honor? What good is a ruler if they cannot send aid to their people in times of need? I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, Zion. Please, let me have your report. Hey! Hey, look! Isn't that the Queen? What? Like the real deal? Right, back to my post. Excuse me. Origin's attack unfortunately caused a landslide near our Feto Valley entrance. We've been treating the wounded, and also dispatched a survey team to scan the area. The thing is, we've lost contact with the survey team. The line just went dead. There was a really loud sound earlier on. Could be more rocks. I see. Then we'll take it from here. Uni, how are you doing over there? I've healed up the worst of them. Now they just need a little R&R. &R. Oh, really? I've got to lie down. Come on. If you've got the energy to flat your trap already, you'll be back on your feet in no time. I see I had no cause to worry. How many were on the survey team? Three. One was piloting the Levness. Okay. I've sent the landslide's location to your iris. You can confirm it for yourself. Got it. Uh, if you happen to see an Anita from the survey team, could you, uh, to tell her to give back what she owes? Because I'll be waiting here until she does. I'll be sure to deliver the message. I'm so sorry to have let this come to pass, everyone. This ordeal will be over ere long. You watch yourself too, Your Majesty. Don't want to see you get hurt neither. I hope you find our friends. Good to add more names. Alrighty then, uh, on to the next thing. Uh, da -da -da. We need to go over here, so I guess this would be the closest. Oh, baby. This one and the other quests in the city, I think, are a little bit shorter than the others. Or, than the one that we just did before, because that one was more Hey, fighting. look at that! A survey branch Levness. Quickly, we must rescue them at once. <laughs> that poor guy's little five tracks deck is. Hello? Hello? Who's. Uh, there? It's alright. We're here to help. Stay still. I'll get that heavy thing off you right this instant. Right. 
Right, that's her injuries about treated. You're a survivor by nature. Good fortune that we made it in time. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I thought I was a goner. Say, you wouldn't happen to be Anita by any chance? Yeah, I'm Anita. Oh, that's great news. There was a guy in the rescue tent who was really worried about you. He said he wanted you to pay him back or something? I suspect that was merely an excuse. He seemed really rather worried. Very insistent that you make it back. Ah, oh, it's got to be Kurt. We've been in the same unit since first term. He can be a little faint-hearted at times. I'd better go and try to calm him down. Ah. So you've been joined at the hip since childhood? Joined at the... sorry? I mean that you were inseparable. You've had a special connection throughout your lives. You understand each other's feelings and you lift each other up in times of need. That's what I'm trying to say. Hmm? Your friends are irreplaceable. Be sure to treasure them. Yes, Mom. Thank you. Thank you. Does she have someone in mind herself? There's someone out there special to her. But then, she was imprisoned in Origin for so long. So maybe they're already... Yeah. I see some relations wow. of change. <laughs> what, uh, what they just said. Hmm, yeah. Hold on. It's going to be okay. There was a second landslide. Don't mind me. Look for the others. We're well aware. But firstly... <sighs> Feels warm. Do not move from this spot. We're going to check the immediate area. Uh, uh, yes. Of course. I see yeah, some relations. Well, since when can Melia heal people? And I was like, oh, well, you have some Anaka that gives you regeneration effect, and then you kind of have that move that she sacrifices some of her health to heal. Ah! His foot's trapped. We'll need to move the rubble very carefully. Using arts would be far too dangerous. In which case. Someone call for heavy lifters? Ah, uh, yeah. We'll clear this out in no time. You're in safe hands now. Y yes Thank you. Hang in there just a little longer. We don't want to overlook anything. Right. I think that's the lot of them accounted for. I wouldn't relax just yet. The landslides have formed a sharp incline, in turn increasing the risk of loose rocks. I hardly need to state this, but the possibility of further landslides remains high. Getting caught in another landslide would be undesirable. We must make some distance, and quickly. Back to Colony 9. Huh! Teleportation! Okay, come on. I'm gonna walk back pretty much the same place. Oh, oh. Okay then. Guess we're going up this way then. Come on. I don't like the look of the weather. The Queen has returned! <gasps> Welcome back! We're glad to see you safe, Your Majesty! We were at the site of the landslide, but the situation remains precarious. It is vital that we remove the remaining rocks upon the slope in the coming days. You shall have the castle's aid, of course. But your own assistance in this matter would also be most appreciated. Oh, we'd be glad to help. Never want to have to go through this again. But if we hadn't, we'd never have got to meet Queen Melia. I don't regret it, because I learned today that we weren't forsaken. Forsaken? The only time we normally ever get to meet your majesty is at the homecoming. We've been 
been through so many bitter times, but we've never known you to help us. Not so directly. You make a valid point. From this moment on, I will endeavor to the best of my ability to allay your fears. Ha. Huh. You're too kind, Your Majesty. Then, in the interest of allaying fears, there may be another matter I would like to discuss with you. Oh, yes. Speak up, then. I would like, from this moment on, to let the colony elect their commander of their own volition. And I don't mean just for appointing a successor after death or for the purposes of reform. If they make their voices known, then I think I would gladly relinquish my position as commander this second. What? What brought this on? Then you wish to formally step down? Well, I was always the consul's favorite plaything. I was a mere pawn, dancing to his whims, enacting his orders. But in coming to terms with our new life, I began to realize the qualities needed in a commander are very different nowadays. Please don't belittle yourself, Sion. You've worked so hard to get where you are. Believe me, I've thought about this long and hard. About who really fits the role of a commander. It must be someone we all look up to. Someone with whom we can share our path. Zion. While I do not object to your logic, Zion, I hope you realize that our role is in essence naught but a figurehead. What that figurehead represents, however, is something only you can decide. It's down to me. A person is not shaped solely by their birthright or innate qualities. As long as you remain critical of who you are, whether you deserve the position or not has little relevance. This crisis of conscience, you once experienced it as well, Your Majesty. Of course. Everyone has their battles with self-doubt. How else does one grow as a person? If you remain true to yourself, then you have nothing to fear. In this rich tapestry of life, you must find the path that you are willing to weave. I'll give it more thought, then. Very good. I look forward to hearing your answer. Melia must have had her share of hardship to talk about these things in such depth. If she's ever stuck in a rut, I wonder if we'll be able to console her in the same way. Would she even want that? Penny for your thoughts, Noah. No, it's nothing. We should get going. We've got some traveling ahead of us. You know what? I it just came, came popped into my head. How old would really Melia be in this game? I can tell. Cause how old was how old was she during Chronicles One is the first question. I think she was 112. You really love I might be a hundred and thousand percent. Wait, how old was she? Excuse me. Can I? No. Wait. Uh. Wait. How do I? There we go. No. No. Um. I wanna just let let me. There we go. Ugh. Hold on, I'm actually going to look this up. Xenoblade 1. Holy crap! So, so wait. Your Majesty. Sorry to bother you. I'm sure you're rushed enough as it is. I'm here to discuss the speech you mentioned. Did I come at a bad time? No, not at all. We've been stretching our necks every day, waiting to see if you'd turn up. I too have been anxious to meet you. I'm sorry. 
to have been a source of anguish for you this long. It's all been for today. I don't consider any of it a waste. Now, on to the matter at hand, rallying the troops. With the final battle with Mobius looming before us, we're doing our best to prepare, but we need more than just supplies. A battle to determine the fate of the world is hardly a light topic. Everyone's beside themselves with worry. Some poor souls have completely snapped. We're never gonna last in actual combat at this rate. I don't blame them. No matter how noble our cause, the fighting will cost us lives. We're caught between the future we desire and the present, which is ours to lose. It's a place beset on all sides by fear. You got that right. Especially when there's no guarantee you're gonna be coming home. Even a brief address would do. Just as long as you speak to them somehow. I understand. I don't know if I'll be able to get through to them. We'll be your guides while in the city. That would be most appreciated. While we're here, would it bother you if I took a look around the city itself? Please, be my guest. I think we'd all like that. Maybe we could take her to Centrillo Parade. There's plenty of people around there. No objections from me, but... There are some rather, shall we say, ardent followers of the Queen up that way. If they get too insistent, you might need to give them a friendly nudge. Oh yeah? All right, we'll keep a lookout. All righty then. Let's just take this right up there. It should be operable now. So I looked it up, Melia was 88 in Chronicles 1. According to Secret Files from Chronicles, apparently 88. Uh, I looked it up, she has the body of a 16 year old in Chronicles 1, so 88. But by 16 is about 5.5, so for every, um, I guess for every 6 years she ages, her body physically ages, give or take. That's what I got from it. So she's she looks like she's probably mid to late twenties in this game. So she's probably at a hundred for let's say she's twenty five. Uh, Hundred and forty two. Now, this is a far cry from the colonies and the castles. Here is a place where people can truly live, make a home. I couldn't believe my eyes when I first saw this place. All these different people I'd never seen before. Things of all shapes and sizes. I wish I had been there to see your reaction. A shame. To see my mouth hanging open like a lummox. Not worth it. You seem to take it all in your stride. None of this surprises you. It's more that I'm assailed by old memories. Technologies of old are put into practice here. I feel the... Huh? Is that really you? Queen Melia? Uh, yes. I do go by that name. I knew it! I knew it from the moment I laid eyes on you! You were something special. Oh, finally caught up. Hey, old man, you're gonna give yourself a heart attack. Well, thanks for your concern, but I'll decide when and how I'm going to pop my clubs. I've lived my whole life for this day. Heck, you all have, haven't you? Of course we have. 
You've returned to us at last, my queen. You really are as radiant as they say. Hey, fancy a bite? You should come by my restaurant, sample a few of the local dishes. <laughs> no, Lee wants to see your seedy little bistro. She wants something memorable. Oh, say that again, I dare you. If you hate my establishment so much, I'll be more than happy to bar you from it permanently. All right, people. Don't shove. And stop arguing. If you don't want to scare the Queen now, my days! Come on now, this is getting excessive. Ah, oh, leave them. Everyone's been living for this moment. It's always been my dream to see the true queen come back to us. A lot of us die before we get the chance. Yeah, but now it's actually happening. For how can we possibly keep calm when a miracle is unfolding? I am so grateful to you all, my people. I would like to express a few words of gratitude, if I may. It is a joy to see real human activity once again, after all these years. I see that you continue to remain strong. Of course we do. Got to protect what we love, right? That's right. I'm not resting these old bones so long as there's life in them. We'll hold out for decades more if we have to. We have our queen, and even Ouroboros stand by her side. With their strength behind us, Mobius won't stand a chance. Looks like that takes care of that. Indeed. Wow, decades plural. And here we are, happy enough if we can reach one. The way I see it, you are far more incredible. You've achieved so much in so little time. Huh? That's only natural, ain't it? Got to get stuff done in the time you have. No way I could imagine having to fight for 40 or 50 years. Feel so snuffing far away. Uni. By the by, I'm not seeing the story spinner anywhere. Story spinner? He's this old guy who knows more about the city's history than anyone. He's like a walking encyclopedia. Real curious bloke. Normally he'd jump at an opportunity like this. <laughs> well, he's no spring turkey, though. If he is, he's missed his chance to meet Her Majesty. He might drop dead from the shock. Heavens. Where might we find this person? I think we should pay him a visit. What, really? I'll bet it'd make his day. But are you sure? I would like to try to meet him, if at all possible. As you wish. It's your call. You'll probably find him at Mitya Lookout. I hear it's one of his favorite spots. A walking encyclopedia, is he? Then we can expect an enlightening conversation. Okay, where is he? Conversation are you expecting? Uh, up there. How the heck did we get up there? Hoping this is the right way to go, because I honestly don't even remember. Yo, wait, hold on a second. Where is that? Uh, I think I, I think we're actually just accidentally like going the right way. Hopefully, please. Use of this. Uh, I want the wrong way. I think I can maybe just. <laughs> nope, I can't reach that. Great, fantastic. Let's try this. Uh, we'll be going out this way. Honestly, seriously, how the heck? Where even is that? I honestly don't even remember this. 
I remember talking to the man, but I don't remember how to get up there. Why, why is it that now is in my memory you must fail me? Why now? Keep going up, come on. I, I think, I think this is the right one. You know what, that, that reminded me, I was playing Twilight Princess yesterday and I literally like walked into a ladder six or seven different times and each time Link just like went around it instead. I was just like, just grab the ladder! Yo, seriously, how long is this ladder, man? Just gonna try and, uh... There we go. Huh! I had no idea they'd be making such a fuss over this. It's quite alright. Life is full of surprises after all. Alright, here we are. Boy, what's all the fuss? Whose funeral is it this time? Nobody's, I should hope. We were just wondering if... Oh! Old Melly! Well, this... this can't be real, so somebody pinch me. What if... it's actually my funeral? Then that would mean... Where, where the places have I ended up? Yeah, uh, this is Mitya Lookout in the city. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm told you have quite the wisdom. I was hoping to ask you a few things, if it doesn't bother you. Oh, I get ya. The Queen herself is asking me personally to tell her a story. <laughs> now I know I'm dreaming. Hey, all the Boris kids, give me a good wallop here, right on the kisser. Sure thing. Have you gone quite mad? Lance, I, I didn't throw my weight into it. Let's all calm down for a second and just talk sensibly, please. Oh, I see. A rousing speech for the city, eh? What a sort of luck. Even after that battering, I know I'll be content in the afterlife. Oh, don't start. You were the one who asked us to. Well, it seems life's worth living a little while longer. <laughs> Don't want to disappoint old Queenie now, do I? Go on then, ask away. I hear you have accumulated a wealth of knowledge over the years. If you don't mind, is it not painful to know so much more than people around you, and be so much older? Why, Melly? Do you mean to say? You're worried about my ailments? Pardon? Arthritis, dermatitis, constipation, bones are as brittle as all hell, and I can never get a wink of sleep. And when I do sleep in, the dog's got to come and check my breathing. Can't do what I used to. If it's not one thing, it's another. Yeah, that's not what she was talking about. Oh, I... What was it then? When you get to the age you are, after you must have had to say goodbye to so many of your friends and stuff. Must be a lot of crap to deal with. So, uh, how do you go? Oh, 
<laughs> the piss is what it is. There are times when I wonder why I don't just curl up and die. But see, life ain't all sunshine and roses. <laughs> I think that's part and parcel of it. So what? You just have to go on living in misery? You've got to be joking. Ginny, are you all right? I just want to know what it's all about. Growing old. There's folk out there who get to live so much longer than us. And they still choose to fight. It just feels like I'm always taking a back seat. Like I'm getting left behind. But I want to be there with you guys. Even if it's just in spirit. Uni. I had no idea that was how you felt. Yeah, sorry. Hard to put it into words, really. Even if those you once loved are no longer a part of this world. Lonely as it is, and painful though the memories be, it is not wholly a tragic tale. For you can keep close to your heart your memories of those dear to you. And that is something to take pride in. That is what will give you strength. Admittedly, my life took a very different path to the likes of my companions here. But such are my thoughts. Ah, never a true word was spoken. That's one for the ages. Where's my notepad? The fact that you're worrying about us here and now, Uni. I don't think we'll ever forget that. Your feelings will transcend time. I'd have to agree. So don't feel like you need to be doing anything special for us, Uni. It's reassuring enough just being the way you are. <sighs> don't suppose you've got any tissues on you. Why'd you have to go and make it all soppy? Nobody is leaving you behind, Uni. If you ever feel distance between you, you need only speak out. Wait, was this all just to tell me that? That's about the size of it. <laughs> Good luck out there, youngins. Don't just pass it off as your own. Say, Melly, uh, would you mind if we shook hands? He's straight up ignoring me! I don't see why not. Oh, you angel. Now I can shuffle off this mortal coil without regrets. Knowledgeable, my ass. Life's a cruel journey from one end to the other. You only get one chance to walk it. But if there's one thing that gives it all meaning, it's love. That's very sweet. That ain't something I have to teach you young folks, though. Your friends are lucky fellows. Monica said something like that, too. Still doesn't make much sense to me, though. <laughs> well, love takes many forms. There are as many ways to show it as there are people. I'll remember that. Thanks. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. But we till we meet again, story spinner. Indeed, indeed. Safe travels to you, Your Majesty. Alright. That's the last one done. I think we've done the rounds here. Yeah, I think now it's just heading back to the castle. So what is all this? Oh, accessories. Burp. Quests, just Yep. And okay. Items. Just hit the art. Done. Let's head back and let's to just 
go to the throne room. Well travel by now, huh? Ugh. Oh my god. Alrighty then. Your Majesty! You've returned. I trust it's been quiet in my absence. Yes. I see that you have calmed down. Yes, I have realized. However fervent my loyalty, if I am ever the source of a highness's anguish, it does no good. You think too deeply, Isil. Tis your mind's fiction. Ah, I will rectify that. <laughs> I am sure you will. How was your trip? And what of the world? Mankind's follies. People never learn. Whatever the passage of fate may bring, we must never lose the spirit of defiance, lest we submit to injustice, as we once did. Again, why does she look so sad? My friends and I, we, we fought hard for all this. We staked our lives on this future. And if there's a chance to keep it that way, I too will be happy to sacrifice myself for this world. Snuff that for a laugh. I hate that. You're the important one here. Pardon? It's true. It's something I noticed before. As befits a queen, you're always thinking about your subjects. But who thinks about what's best for you? Seeing you suffer alone like this, none of us like it. It's too sad to think about. Losing you, that is. You're one of us. Yeah, think about how much you always think of us. It's only fair if you let us do the same for you. I am speechless. Melia, you are needed in this world. But you weren't born solely for the world's sake. That may be so. However, I... If you permit me, I'll gladly lend you my strength. Not because you are our queen, but because we're travelers in the here and now. So we should live together. I'm glad you're with us, Melia. Fighting alongside you all is the best! Yes. You are right. How funny. Though wisdom is said to come with age, still you all seem to teach me so much. If some things elude my grasp, your words... Show me that there is more, more to life. They guide me when I run astray, again and again. How fortunate I am to have you. <laughs> now that's more like it, girl. Melia, thank you. Thank you for always having believed in us. That's one thing I would never doubt. Now we embark on our quests to create the future. Yes, it's ours. Man, I freaking love this game. Dude, I I got like so many goosebumps when when so ah. Oh, I love this game and
I don't know, like, uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't want to really say fortunately, but this is likely the very last episode until more DLC comes out. I will be doing the extra hero that comes along with the next DLC, the extra challenge battles, all of that, but for right now, we're done. I'll tell you this, when that DLC story comes out, as soon as it comes out, <laughs> heck, I might do it even if I'm in the middle of another playthrough, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But, <laughs> that's all for today. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.